Look at this technological item, irrational technology. You may be wondering what the hell is going on here. I'll explain it real simple. Look at this. It basically is technology, but combined with nightlight. This is the Ipecac community mod. I've had a couple people ask me to play this for a bit now. And I wanted to take a look at some of the items they had. And this technology item looks so cool. I, I really wanted to try it out for a full video, right? Not to mention, it works a lot like nightlight. And nightlight, I'm going to say it. First of all, who, who is bro right there? <laughs> he's just he's just here he's just existing he's gone i'm so sorry what about this treasure room okay we gotta take the extra technology item right i see a lot of people ragging on my boy nightlight do not how dare you nightlight stays goaded in my opinion so i'm going to try my best to use this technological 3.145 i don't actually know the rest of the bypass 3.14 props to anyone who actually knows that more than 3.14 you guys are geniuses imo uh, but yeah, I wanted to use this kind of a 3.14 pie tech and have fun with it. We'll also maybe see a lot more other items because this is just a whole big, uh, you know, community Ipecac mod thing, right? Well, uh, what about this pill? Addicted. Oh boy. Whoa, what is that? That's like a treasure room card or something. Hold on. Gimme, gimme. Foiled death. May oblivion find your foes. Okay, well, I assume, you know, I should use this in the same way I would use death card. I might use it on the boss here. Death typically works well on Larry Jr., so it's literally- Oh! I, why am I dancing? I don't know what that item is! <laughs> is foiled death just death but better? Because bro just exploded. <laughs> yeah, a damage multiplier? Really? What? A damage multiplier in the boss room pool? Help build muscle. Hey, you know what? Sounds like a good mod pack to me. Now the damage scaling will also damage scale really well with our tech 3.15, right? I'm gonna call it tech pie. It just rolls off the tongue easier. Our tech pie will scale off the of damage and it should work pretty well here. I'm already noticing it's far more powerful than it was a second ago. Of course, we will also probably just see other Ipecac community items, which I'm really excited for, because so far, the stuff that we have seen, aka the foiled card, uh, you know, the quality four item in the boss room, all of the above basically has been super high quality. Also, the enemies, the extra enemies they've added are super cool. How's about this guy? Shoop de whoop, no. Teleport 2.0s, okay. You know what? Let's use a roll here, get obsessed fan, regret my decisions immediately, and then we'll go full on angel deals. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, tech pie is crazy what melting type of damage that was highly satisfying imo what if i find the secret room and reveal it to be not as much of a secret as it was originally conceived what if the secret was that there was no secret oh my lord i just got baited dude i do not know where the hole in the wall is hole in the wall <laughs> you guys remember a hole in the wall on like i think it was like cartoon network dude that show was sick what is that athletes but it's a fire delay up, interesting, but a speed down. Tears up scaling with how much you move. Oh, okay, cool. It hurts to move. So wait, the more I move, the more my tears go up. Do I just keep moving forever? I just have infinite tears. Like, <laughs> Guys, new bug found. Check this out. Oh, it caps at 1.73, I see. Yeah, dude, hole in the wall was so cool. I always thought that I would be able to do it whenever I, uh, I watched the show. You know, you know how like when you're a kid, right? And you're like, you think to yourself, well, you know, it, it wouldn't be that hard. And then you realize as an adult that you were completely right. And it really would not have been that hard. Like I could probably fit in there. Let's be real. What are other game shows that I used to watch? There was this one when I used to live in England. I oh, God, I think it was called 5050 or something like that. It was like blue and yellow. It was the craziest thing ever. I loved it. How about in here? Pinking shears is okay. I could probably afford to roll because I have a uh, mirror dimension right wow double active a little unlucky that happens okay i'm still trying to move as much as possible right so i uh, do not lose my tier rate which works perfectly with my tech pie oh hey buddy in a box but what i'm more interested in is what the heck is that i won't know until i buy it huh i'll probably get uh three more cents and if i don't i'll blow up dono machine so i can get it that's oh, pac-man oh pac-man reference oh my god interesting bit of news so far we know we've been talking a lot about the isaac update and the uh, online co-op as a whole coming out soon on twitter tyrone confirmed that there's actually going to be matchmaking in Isaac <laughs> or like some form of it. I, it was it was the craziest thing to see. Never in my life would I thought that there would be some kind of matchmaking, but they did say you can kick players that are on the run and there's even like a little voting screen that he teased. And someone asked, wait, does this mean that you can play against random people? And Tyrone said, yes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm about to get top 500 challenger in Binding of Isaac matchmaking. <laughs> My elo is about to skyrocket. Listen, when I'm farming my MMR, you guys better not be throwing my games or I will report you. That's so insane to think about. The sense is great here. 
Is my tech beam getting bigger the more damage I'm doing? I feel like it's a lot thicker than how it was. That's always something I missed about Flash Isaac. It still happens in this game, obviously, right? But like, it, it's to a lesser degree. In Flash Isaac, the more damage you had, the bigger and wider your technology beam would go. And I remember watching old, old days of like Cobalt Streak, getting technology crazy breaking runs on the chest and having their technology beam be as wide as the screen. I'm not even kidding. I wish that would make a comeback one day. It would make technology one of the coolest items, and I think it already is. Cyanide. What? <laughs> Bro just said cyanide in my ears. I was not prepared. What does that do? Doesn't that typically kill you? Uh, I'm just gonna move on. You know what? If I die, I have an awk, right? I'll be okay. I'm so curious. What are you? You look like some kind of, like, coupon? Scratch card. Oh, you might be a winner. Oh my god, lottery gambling. Yes, here we go. Oh, I failed. Caves dose. Dude, tech pie is so nasty. Without even shooting, I'm just dealing so much damage. Look at this guy. Boom, you're dead. It actually didn't die as fast as I wanted to, so it was a little bit of a bad example moment, but there you go. This looks good. It's very impressive, right? Because those mushrooms have uh, some kind of armor on whenever they're tucked down. You can still damage them, obviously, like how I'm doing right now, but it's far more harder to. Whoa, what are that? What would you hold you, huh? I see. It's some kind of cool dual spider. And the, the strategy to fight them is actually just get up right in their face, right? Because they miss. Yeah, that's the strat. Good to know. New spiders as well. Looks like fly spiders combined together. He got lasered from halfway across the country. That's tough. It happens. Let's take our bomb and go fight the boss real quick. Stain. My god, he's getting lasered down. What is this? Cod zombies? I'll take the damage up was about in here we get an extra deal chance why do i have a zero percent what oh it's because i already fought the boss bozo all right i'll blow up this dude then never mind tech point pie just <laughs> literally saved that guy my man's the main character hello all right you win we'll go get the treasure room instead then how about in here conehead's a really good item it's basic but it gets the job done it also reminds me of that one movie that no one remembers but maybe someone remembers Curse room to our left. My tech point five point pie, sorry, is disjointed. Wow, hello? We got smash melee type of hitboxes here. <laughs> the Marth grab of Isaac hitboxes. There you go, it fixed. We also got a Bob the Builder type of construction, dude. He's just existing, living life. What are you? Some kind of triple conjoined mega maw? Whoa, you're cool. Does fire block your bullets? This is interesting. No, so we gotta be careful. No matter what, you gotta be careful in this room. Very cool concept for an enemy. Never mind. What? I just got baited. What? Excuse me? <laughs> Isaac just got decked in the face. He took all of it. There's probably some way to tell that that was like a mimic door, right? I just wasn't paying attention. I, there's no way I could have been prepared. So cool. I, hopefully I, I recognize that again. These new enemies are cool as well. What? Ipecac mod goes crazy. And here we get Ouija board. This is what I mentioned before, by the way. Look at that. 0.5 tiers up. External item description got updated to say 0.5 tiers up. When I pick it up, it's not really going to say 0.5. Four, there you go, 0 0.4 tiers up. Why? Dunno. Who knows? But whatever, Ouija board's a great item. We can go in here and fight Sister Viz. We'll also get an angel to kill, which will give us a full reroll, so this is perfect. Look at the tech point five damage. I'm just gonna AFK right there. Look at that. Oh my god. Nasty amount of damage, really. Give me this tiers up. And here we get Beebus Juice. I, I don't know how I feel about juice boxes right now. I'm thinking more like water, right? Don't get me wrong, I will not say no to someone offering me a juice box. But sometimes, even you, yourself, need to make healthier choices, such as rerolling this key piece. And getting Glyph of Balance, one of the best angel items, but no one's ready to have that conversation. And I don't think anyone will. <laughs> Here I am with my uh, Marth Grab melee uh, technology once again. Oh, we got a we, we double Pac-Man reference! We got a dual Pac-Man reference for today, except this time it's a ghost. Nice. I will say one of my favorite things about Isaac is probably the fact that I somehow touched that guy for free. I just scammed that guy. <laughs> I gave that guy a fake dollar. I gave him a fake heart, like a counterfeit heart. He didn't even notice. He's still paying out. My favorite thing about me for Isaac is just the fact that it always references other video games. Cancer so strong. Nice. You know, things like Minecraft or other indie games. It's just been like a staple for uh, Edmund in general, right? He always references other games in his games. And Super Meat Boy, one of the main gimmicks was 
the fact that all the playable characters came from other games, specifically indie games on, I believe, PC. And then on Xbox, I believe you had a uh, more Xbox popular characters, right? In Isaac, of course, you have just 7 billion references to different items and other video games. It's just the coolest thing ever. You even got old beams, right? Uh, we don't need no trinket, I don't think. Actually, I, I, I should take it. We don't need DPS. Even the oldest memes ever, like Shoop to Whoop or like Forever Alone with the shopkeepers, right? One of my favorite things has just got to be that Isaac is just full on just kind of culture of internet, you know what I mean? Daddy Longlegs is great. I still see people sometimes to this day, you know, in like Twitch chat. Options? I'll take some options. Noise. Talking about how they recognize the Bible thumb image from somewhere. And they're like, oh, I recognize that guy. And it's like, well, you don't. Of course you do. It's that crying child from the Isaac video game. Bro's iconic. Be proud. Stop crying. I think this will be our last special when we really need to go visit, right? Does it have anything good for me? Double red chest? A ton of cyanide? <laughs> No, thank you. I don't know how I feel about a ton of cyanide. Uh, we get a little bit of a tears down. A bit unfortunate, but it happens. Oh, you know what? It was totally worth it to come here because I can blow you up now, right? Oh my god, Tech Pie, what are you doing to me? Uh, no world where I don't get hit there, so I might have just unlocked my uh, gonga brain during that sequence in order to figure out where I was supposed to stand. What is the counterplay to the bomb being pushed by Tech Pie here? Is it like face away? And then do that. God, that feels wrong. <laughs> I guess that, that, that does work though. That solves my issue. No steam cell, so no secret room reroll. We get a pill that completely disappeared right in front of my face. I just spider man Hello, mom. It's nice to see you again. I'm sorry. I, I feel like I'm hurting your leg every single time I come in here. You gotta get your foot pain checked out. It's just not healthy. You need a long, loving life, and you cannot achieve that with foot pain. I think we take Polaroid today. We've been taking negative a lot, and I'm feeling really nice about this run. Whoa! Triple the horror thing? Whoa, it literally is, but interesting that they don't shoot in a very straight pattern. You know how typically like the Fallen shoots? Very predictable. That was kind of uh, condensed. It seemed a little bit of a random spread. They actually added shotgun random spread to Isaac. Now I can finally complain about damage spread in the Binding of Isaac. <laughs> Wow, fast boss, actually, for Womb 1. We'll definitely be able to fight Hush this day. Very good stuff. Excited for a potential Hush fight. We don't need Ball of Bandages. I don't know why you dropped Ball of Bandages. I'm pretty sure I fought the Horseman, right? How this Horseman's, like, hard-coded to always drop the Horseman. Oh well, this is a damage up. Curse of Blind at this time. We get a Charge Beggar there. Let's blow up you so we get a bit of deal chance. That doesn't do anything for me. I feel like a murderer. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I got like a pit in my stomach. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I just killed someone and for no gain whatsoever. At least if I had a bit of gain, I'd have something to feel better about. <laughs> oh my god, Butless Chub! The Grand Return! Die. This is one of those reasons I'm gonna keep saying, by the way, that Glyph of Balance is completely broken. Especially in, like when you consider options as well as a synergy. You just don't die when you have Glyph of Balance. Look, Red Hearts galore. I could get hit every single time on every single room. And you know what? Every single time, a Red or a Soul Heart will just spawn and heal me back up. Looks like we got very lucky with our Woo mapping today. Let's see if this is super secret, which it probably is. Nice. I don't know if I really want to take that Gupster, just because no trinket's going to be so strong on uh, the chest, right? So let's do this instead. I will now counter the lasers with my own laser. I feel very powerful. It lives, it dies, I somehow managed to land a 4.5% devil deal chance. We're not going to question it, we're just going to take Brimstone. Oh my god, it's a too hard deal. You already know what's about to happen, I have to take it. Hacked! Great! You know what? If there was ever a mid item I would want to take, it would be that one. Is this a two-heart deal? Brimstone. Oh! Without fail! No repercussions, no punishment. Hello, Brimstone. Now I have double laser. Giga mode. What about in this treasure room? Oh my god, coffee? Or is that hot chocolate? I kind of hope it's hot chocolate. It's coffee. That's okay. Coffee's great. Don't get me wrong. I'm drinking coffee right now. Not really. That was a lie. <laughs> Increases damage the faster you move. What? This is like the second item that does this. Now I have- <laughs> my tears are better the faster I move, and more damage the faster I move. That's actually a cool synergy that I found. What's about in here? That's just mom's eye. And that's conjoined, so we take this, right? Does Tech Pie get conjoinified? No, it does not, but we got a brim, that's alright. Crack open all of these. Is that a blurst golden penny? Never before have I seen a more useless golden trinket. You know what? I'll do it once, just for fun. <laughs> 
Hush, I'm not ready. I'm sorry. Listen, I'll be right back. I, I gotta go kill you real quick. I I'm realizing that because of the coffee, the best strategy here is just to AD 80. <laughs> So I constantly get some kind of tier rate and damage. Because if I'm just AFK, you know, my, my stats are going to go down, right? But if I'm just moving around erratically for literally no reason, as if I'm trying to play neutral in a fighting game and pretending I know what I'm doing, then, you know, everything's better. My stats go up. Saw a comment saying, sometimes you make League of Legends references. Are you that into League? No, I'm not that into League. But sometimes I'll play like ARAM or something with friends, right? That's the, about the extent of my knowledge. My problem with uh, League of Legends is not anything other than I want to play jungler but jungler seems really hard to learn in comparison to everything else and the reason i want to play jungler is because i want to play amumu the the crying child <laughs> character in that video game i wonder why i actually think there was a facebook sticker of amumu that they released that was just a straight up like rip uh, like 100 percent reference to isaac I'll, I'll see if i can find a picture of it but uh, yeah basically everything amumu i i really want i really love his story it's super cool also it's just really similar to isaac in design so Obviously, I'm just gonna love him, right? You know, if I just keep my tech pie on Hush, his damage is actually... His health kind of depletes pretty fast, right? Like, look at that. That might be more effective than doing this, right? I'd rather uh, just get tech pie doing its thing instead of a measly, you know, plus two damage on my brim. My god, did you just double Hush laser? My man's pulling out all the stops to get a hit on me right now. That wasn't very nice of you, Hush. Well, GG, you got destroyed. What was this? I missed it. Bone Hurting Juice. We get a Bone Heart, spawns three Bone Orbitals, and taking damage spawns a Bone Orbital. You get an Orbital on hit? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll take it. It's a new item, so I feel like taking it, right? Plus, a Bone Heart's very useful for me. I also didn't go to the shop. Was in here. Broken Modem. This is the breaking item that we specifically need for the chest. I think we're great to go, dude. Goodbye, I'm ascending. You guys have a favorite enemy in Isaac that you just love to kill? It could be for any reason, right? Like, oh, I see people- wow, skill issue. <laughs> I see people complaining about skeletons, so maybe you have a, an easier time taking care of skeletons and some part of narcissistic, egotistical part of you thinks that you're above everyone else because you can kill them easier than other people. Don't deny it, we all know it's happened. Or maybe you just really like how many specific shots it takes to kill like a fatty on basement one. Like, hitting those six shots on that guy just fills you with glee and joy. What? Is, hello? Excuse me, what is this? I have to open it. The suck me in chest. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> is that all it does? <laughs> what? It vine boomed and pooted out nothing. Very cool. Got no idea what that one's gonna do. Luck up from that options is really good. I'd say my favorite Isaac enemy to kill would probably be basic flies, but not the black ones. The red ones, but specifically when you have a damage up, right? Like, you know the feeling, right? You're two-shotting flies against Duke of Flies. You're like, oh, this sucks. You try another run, you get a damage up when you spawn in. These are woobity woobity ghosts, by the way. Mario Bros moment. You get a damage up, you face the Duke of Flies once again, and you just demolish him. Bro gets unironically diffed by you just because you're one-shotting every single one of your flies. That's, that's one of my favorite, like, little little Isaac killing enemies moments that I just love. Well, we got our boss. We've been navigating really well today, actually. Let me use the devil card here. Yeah, things have been going great. I think when Isaac TPs in, I might one cycle him if I get my tech point five going soon enough. Oh, if I force it, force it. Oh, oh, I got it. I really wanted to one cycle that. I'm actually really happy I did. I thought I didn't land it. That was great. We actually have better than usual luck as well. Uh, this is going to be maybe a really good chest for us. We could potentially see some new items here. We've seen a bunch of them so far. We got some really scary buddy in a box. That's actually really cool. I love that design. Cricket's body. That's insane. Ghost Papa and metal plate. Well, 100% you two, right? Boom. It synergizes? It's so over. Reroll these. Chocolate milk. Uh, would be great with brimstone, actually, right? So we get a giga brimstone. Boom. But yeah, no, this is insane. Beautiful chest items. We have a constantly ticking cricket's body due to our tech pie right now. Gutsy, baby. This counts towards conjoined, which you already have, but it follows you hanging together by a chain of Akaldama tears. Oh, cool. Whoa, he looks kind of cool, right? He also leaves behind creep. My game crash? This is a Binding of Isaac moment. For real, for real. This seems like a hard crash, right? Like an out of nowhere crash. I might not be able to start the run from chest. Uh oh. Oh no. No bueno. Hold on. Hello? We good? Okay, we good. Never mind. I, oh my god, guys, Cricket's body and Ghost Pepper? No way! 
Let's roll these, take the Chaco, and retry. <laughs> Wait, did that chest spawn last time? I don't remember this spawning. Oh, it did. It was this little baby we found. All right, back to the regular scheduled programming. Remember when people used to say that? Nah, it's actually just not possible to play the video game anymore. All right, I am going to take a logical approach to this and say that maybe the reason this is happening is because of Cricket's body. Cricket's body is typically an item that I can crash Isaac pretty consistently, right? Especially with tech point Pi, what's probably happening, right, is Cricket's body is proccing every single tick without fail, which might just not be good for the game. No, I actually don't know why I can't play the game anymore. All right, new plan. We take Ghost Pepper, and here's what we're going to do. We are going to avoid war at all costs because he seems to have the innate ability to just be the most powerful human being ever conceived and destroy everything and also freeze time and then delete universes. I don't want none of that. Also, I think I've, I was correct somehow. Somehow war is just that guy. <laughs> So, let's just never go left from the starting room ever again. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guys, I have an issue. How do you expect me to place a bomb right now? How, how, like, in what world am I able to ever place a bomb with this synergy? This is the worst thing. I don't, I, like, how am I supposed to know if that's a secret room or not? Is down safe? Does war leave me alone if I go down? Or is he still going to, like, freeze time and, and destroy my entire universe? I think we're good. Sure hope the boss is down here. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, what if I just like tap shoot something, right? Like be really passive about it. Oh wait, no, war's above me. It seems to crash whenever I go up, right? Okay, let's just go left, I guess. This is still the gut baby, right? Okay, maybe we're good. Nope, nope, left side sucks. Left side sucks. Don't know why, never go left. All right, even newer plan. Instead of dealing with the left side that has the immaculate ability to crash my game, instead, I have the ability to use my mega powers and summon in the Emperor card. Ooh. Also, I have the passive ability to have infinite rerolls now. Uh, it's just something you get when you have Dead God, you know? It's just, it's kind of like a secret club that you get to have, you know, everyone knows about it. If you're in the know, you know. Oh, I don't care if it was because of infinite item charges, that was sick, actually. <laughs> And that was this, monstrous luck? Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, let's go to the Emperor. Watch it crash? No way, I'd be so pissed. I would actually, I would be so mad. Don't do this to me. Just let me live my life. Please? We're good? All right, tech point five, you crashed my game way too much. Stop breaking my video game, dude. GG's, guys.